Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> the very first thing I did as an MLA was try to put a stop to unauthorized shredding. Transparency and openness are core values of the Alberta Party, and we expected this new government would take their once-in-a-generation victory as an opportunity to make real changes to Alberta's FOIP laws. Yesterday, the Privacy Commissioner issued a report that says there was, quote, possible political interference, end quote, and that she has, quote, been thwarted by the refusal of the former and current governments, end quote, to grant access to records to the Premier. What's going on over there? What caused the Commissioner to accuse your government of withholding records? Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And indeed, the Commissioners also know that there have been improvements under our government, and that is because we have taken action to hire more FOIA coordinators, something that was necessary. The Commissioner identified that there was a long-standing uh, resourcing pro problem, and so we've moved forward with that, Mr. Speaker. And even while waiting for the decision from the Supreme Court of Canada, the Minister of Justice has started, has asked your officials to do work on significantly narrowing the application of the solicitor uh, client privilege exception that had been overused by the previous government, Mr. Uh -huh. Speaker. So we are taking action. We know there's more to do. We look forward to doing that, Mr. Thank you, Honourable, Honourable Premier. <laughs> Former and current government, Mr. Speaker. It never ceases to amaze me how quickly a new government acquires bad habits. When in opposition, the NDP loudly and correctly criticized the PCs for withholding information. You also complained about their partisan advertising budget, using the majority to push through controversial legislation and gratuitous puffball questions. My, how things change. But again, to the Premier, is your government obstructing the work of the Privacy Commissioner because now that you're in charge, you'd rather keep things secret? What we are doing, Mr. Speaker, Quiet. is supporting the work of the Privacy Commissioner as a result of the initiatives taken by our Minister of Justice and as a result of now, just yesterday, receiving the recommendations from the Privacy Commissioner now that she's responded to the decision of the Supreme Court of Canada that wasn't made until November of 2016. And as a result of that work having just been finished, we look forward to working with her and ultimately with members of this Assembly to improve our transparency, to improve access to information because that benefits all Albertans. The arm of Calgary, second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A very straightforward and simple question. <coughs> the Privacy Commissioner made a clear request for simple changes to Alberta's FOIP Act to address her concerns. Given that it's only going to take a couple of weeks from the time labour consultations wrap up until we see substantial legislative changes in this House, a simple question to the Premier. Will you accept the Commissioner's request and bring changes to the FOIP Act this spring? Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, we, uh, as I've said, just received the request and the report from the, uh, from the FOIP Commissioner yesterday. So we will review it, and we will review it as part of likely a broader review of the Freedom of Information legislation and probably a broader review that would happen on an all-party committee. And as we know from the last time that the member opposite participated in what was supposed to be a very clear discussion on, on, in an all-party meeting, things kind of went off the rails, and it took a little bit longer than expected, Mr. Speaker. But we certainly do plan to move forward on the Rocky Mountain House Sunday and we look forward to working with the commissioner taking into account her recommendations and having further discussions going Thank on. you